With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let us have a look at the question first of all. So the question has three parts and we need to give reasons for the following. The first part says that nitric oxide becomes brown when released in air. Ammonia acts as a ligand. Why? And the third part says that SCl6 is not known but SF6 is known. Okay. So let us solve them one by one. So the first part uh, says that nitric oxide becomes brown when released in air. So nitric oxide here has one unpaired electron. Okay. And due to this reason it becomes a uh, very very reactive right so as it has one paired electron one unpaired electron it becomes highly reactive right and due to this reason when it is released in air right it generally reacts with uh, atmospheric oxygen to give us a colored nitrogen dioxide okay so this is the main reason just because it is highly reactive due to uh, unpaired electron so nitri nitric oxide here is colorless okay but it gives a brown color when released in air right brown color gas now moving on to the next one which says that ammonia acts as a ligand why so first of all to answer this question we should understand we must understand that what is a ligand so ligand is a species which generally uh, you know donates a lone pair right which loves donating a lone pair so what happens that if you just have a look at uh, the molecule of ammonia nitrogen here has a extra lone pair right so due to the presence of a lone pair on nitrogen here nh3 acts as a ligand right as a ligand so this is something that happens so to confirm this let us have a you know have some of the reactions as a, as example so let's take agcl right and if you just react it with nh3 a complex that forms that is ag nh3 whole twice cl right so here nh3 is behaving as a ligand and why why it is behaving as a ligand because it has a lone pair right so this is something that happens now moving on to the next one and the last one which says that which asks us that that scl6 is not known but it uh, sorry sf6 is known what is the reason behind so here what happens that due to the small size of fluorine right due to the small size of fluorine right uh, we can have six fluorine atoms okay accommodated around sulfur okay accommodated around sulfur right so just because fluorine has a very small size right we can have or you know sulfur can accommodate a total of six fluorine atoms around it but this uh, this does not happen in the case of uh, chlorine right so chlorine right we can write like this so whereas chlorine uh, is comparatively larger okay comparatively larger in size and hence cannot be accommodate, accommodated uh, around sulfur in a count of six okay so this is the reason why uh, hcl6 is not known but sf6 is known right due to the size of uh, fluorine it can be accommodated right so i hope this is uh, pretty much clear to you thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today